today I'm discussing um, about friendship. But this time, I'm looking at friendship and I want to create awareness to parents who have teenagers. And I know there is this question that all of us as parents who have teenagers, we ask ourselves. Why do our teenagers prefer to speak to their friends? Why do they make their friends number one and listen to their friends, yet they do not listen to me? And so this is what I want to tell me and other parents who have teenagers. One, the relationship must start when these teenagers were children. However, <clears throat> I love the Bible, quoting the Bible. The Bible says, um, show your children the way, and even if they depart, they'll still come back to it. So that is where people don't look at it. They'll still, so you may have had a relationship when they were young, but when they became teenagers, adolescents, they departed. So in that moment of de when they have departed, what do you do? One, first understand them, that in a teenage world, they like, you know, they like that thing that uh, they can associate themselves with someone. So the person they can associate themselves with are these teenagers. One, they are fellow teenagers. They speak the same language. They dress the same way. You know, those slang things they do. Whereas as, as parents, it's very hard, you know, to understand their world. You know, when it comes to body changes, they are all changing the same. And there's a lot of stress that is going through their mind. And so their fellow uh, teenagers understand them. And so this is what I tell when they're in that world, as a parent, you need to understand them. You need to come to their world. So because if you, if you stay up there, they will depart and depart and depart. And by the time you correct them, it will, they would have gone very far. So I'm encouraging you, even at that time, you know, that time that they are doing drugs, that, that time that things are very hard, parents we understand just tell God to help you just calm down to your to their world I'm, 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 I read a book and I'm sure most of us have have read that book you know beating them with love beating them with love means accepting and understanding their world you know even sometimes trying sometimes I even try to understand the songs that they are singing some of these songs don't make meaning okay the songs don't, even some of these things that they do don't make meaning. But it's only, it doesn't make meaning to us, but to them, it makes meaning. So we need to start understanding them from their world. And if you are a parent like me, you know, even when they dress like that, just encourage them. Be there for them. Just try, fight your way to be their friends. And you can only fight your way to be his all her friend by understanding them. Don't be aloof to them. They are also struggling like we are struggling. Some are even affected by what us as parents are doing, you know? But especially if the marriage is not working or if we are going through hardship, our children get affected. And for them, and, and I tell parents, you know, for us, when as adults, when things are not working, we'll look for a therapist, we'll look for a friend, you know, we will cry. For them, they don't understand that language. The language they understand is their friends. And their friends will tell them, Manze, you're very stressed. Why don't we do bangi? Why don't we do this? Because their friends are understanding them. So bottom line, I am saying, let's understand these people. And like the Bible says, even if they depart, they'll still come back.